वेलकम टू आवर यूट्यूब चैनल स्कूल ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग हेयर वी आर विद न्यू वीडियो शुगर मैन्युफैक्चरिंग प्रोसेस इन द शुगर इंडस्ट्री सो लेट्स स्टार्ट शुगर इन जनरल टर्म इंडिकेटिंग स्वीट कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स मोनो डाई एंड पोलिसक्राइड्स ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम प्लांट्स लार्जली शुगर केन एंड शुगर बीट प्लांट पाकिस्तान इज द ट्वेल्थ लार्जेस्ट प्रोड्यूसर ऑफ शुगर मोर देन एटी वन शुगर मिल्स इन पाकिस्तान and now in the manufacturing process of sugar our first step is harvesting of sugar cane in harvesting first we want fully mature sugar cane and then there are two types of harvesting manual and mechanical in manual man power is used and in mechanical machinery is used for harvesting and this is the overall flow diagram of manufacturing process of sugar As we can see in the flow diagram our first step is transportation after harvesting and in transport and handling animals driven carts trolleys and trucks are used as we can see some examples in the images and now our second step in the process is cane receival means material handling and storage now sugar cane stored in cane yards carried from kenyas to food feeding area by hook chain cranes reelings conveyor belt carries by a man and huge suction truck and after handling and storage next step is washing it can be washed by pumps and pipes in the machines and after washing we can send it to the cutting process in cutting of canes canes knives to cut cane into small pieces and it can also avoid the crushing it is not the crushing process and after cutting of canes now it can be sent to a shredder for shredding and in the shredding process we can remove leaves and nodes and we can also use hammer mill shredder for shredding process after removing leaves and nodes the next step is crushing step cane is crushed to break hard structure outside the sugar cane and in crushing cells containing juice are ruptured no juice extracted increase efficiency of juice extraction and subjected to crusher with corrugated blades and after the crushing process our feed is sent to the milling tandems milling tandems basically a machine with three roller mills connected in series top roller feed roller discharge roller they are 5 to 7 in number and extract the juice from crushed sugar cane and the whole process of extraction of juice is seen in the figure where prepared cane is entered to the milling tandems and after passes from three machines it can give us a juice and a extra material called bagges basically two products are obtained from roller mills one is called juice and other is called bagges bagges is extra and solid product while the juice is in liquid form as we can see in the figure and further we can use bagges in the boiler station for producing steam and that steam is also used for electricity generation and there are some uses of bagges stored in bagges storage used as fuel to generate steam steam used for ele generating electricity and evaporation of juice before crystallization and our next step in the flow sheet diagram or manufacturing process of sugar is clarification and in the clarification process we can remove non sugars and impurities from the juice we can obtain from the mills the process is held by liming sulfitation phosphation and carbonation and in the figure we can see first we have sugar cane juice just after cane crushing and then sugar cane juice after addition of lime and then we have sugar cane juice after flocculation and then after clarification juice is sent for mud filtration or filtration process and in the filtration process juice is filtered and mud is separated from the juice 
and the mud from clarified still contains some residual juice and we can further filter it to extract residual juice in rotary vacuum filters and after the filtration our next step is evaporation and this process is held at evaporator station and in this process juice evaporated to obtain super saturated solution increase concentration of juice from 15 degree bricks to 65 degree bricks juice preheated to around 107 to 110 degree celsius two types of evaporators are used one is single effect evaporators and then second one is multiple effect evaporators and in the multi effect evaporator process our feed is entered in first effect and steam is also entered for heating the feed at 85 degree celsius and in the preheat at 70 degree celsius vapors are extracted from the top and the feed is entered to the second effect we are at 55 degree celsius some vapors are extracted from the top which can be used in third effect and and again the remaining feed is entered in the third effect we are at 40 degree celsius some it sent to condenser and other one is sent for concentration process basically steam is used to evaporate juice in the evaporation process 1 liter steam is used to evaporate 4 liter juice the steam temperature is 113 to 130 degree celsius at first pan and 55 degree celsius at last pan each subsequent vessel with decreasing pressure last pan being under almost a total vacuum and after the evaporation process in the evaporator our next step is crystallization and separation and this step of crystallization is carried out in single effect high vacuum boiling pans their bricks are increased from 65 to 75 degree by boiling at 60 degree celsius There are basically three stages of crystallization. Number one is nucleation, second one is indentation, and the third one is elongation. And after the crystallization process, as a result, we can obtain mesicoid, that is mixture of crystals and mother liquid called molasses. And further, at low temperature, it can be also transferred to crystallizers. And after the crystallization process, our next step is centrifugation in this process of centrifugation we can separate sugar from molasses where centrifuges are used that can operate at 100 to 1800 rpm where molasses pass through perforations and sugar crystals are washed with 85 degree celsius steam or water and as a result we can obtain raw sugar and molasses Molasses is basically a thick product and we can also say it a side product. Now we have a raw sugar and this is a overall process of sugar production. First sugar cane is converted into raw sugar juice and then clarified sugar juice and then in the form of sugar crystals. Where bagasse, mild mud and molasses are also obtained as a side product. and also have its own applications and now sugar crystals are further sent to sugar dryers where drying and packing are held in this process sugar tumble through large cylindrical dryers where sorting and packing are also held in the previous process we obtained a brown sugar which is also known as a raw sugar and now we refined it and get a white sugar and in the refinery process raw sugar is passed further these steps and after passing from it it can be converted into refined sugar or white sugar and our first process in the refining is receiving and storage of raw sugar then the other process is affination where mixture of raw sugar with high purity syrup 85% called magma is held and it can melts outermost layer of the sugar crystals at 50 degree celsius and we can also use centrifugation to remove resulting syrup from melting of the outer layer 
in the melting affinated sugar dissolved with hot condensate to concentration of 72 degree bricks and melted at 85 degree celsius in batch or continuous melter and after the affination our next step is purification now the remelt process is held because we can also contain some impurities and colorants in the melting previous process further we can send it for liming carbonization and decolorization for colorants remover and impurities removal and in the decolorization process two methods are used first one is granular activated carbon that is called gac and the second one is ion exchange resin now after the decolorization of melted sugar our next process is evaporation and crystallization and in this process sugar syrup evaporated up to super saturation solution where crystallization is held like previous and then centrifugation is held to obtain refined sugar crystals and after these steps we can further send it to for drying and storage where bucket elevator is used and hot air is used for drying the crystals and now the sieving process is used to separate fine medium and bold grains and now we have cool dry moisture and odor free sugar which can be stored and also sent for packing and packing is held in containers of pack air tight moisture proof and also glass canning jars or cans for liquid sugars are used hope so this video will be informative for you for more videos stay connected and don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you